welcome 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 bienvenue guys welcome back to my channel so today as you can see from the title i'm going to be making some goat soup and for this recipe here i have my goat i have about two and a half to three pounds of goat that i have washed i'll also be using some olive oil now in here i have bay leaf i have salt pepper garlic powder onion powder and some dried thyme here I have my green seasoning and here I have an optional ingredient which is what we call saison some people say saison and like I just said it is optional you do not have to use it in your recipe if you do not want to so let's get started so I'm adding just a little bit of olive oil because this is gold it has a little bit of fat next we're going in with green seasoning followed by my mixture of the salt pepper garlic powder onion powder and dried thyme my bay leaves let's crush them in or you can leave them whole if you like to and like i said earlier just a little bit of saison now mix it all together and i'll be right back so the goat is all seasoned I'm going to cover it up with some plastic wrap. I'm going to allow it to marinate overnight and I will see you guys in the morning. Now, you do not have to do it this way. You can just go straight with your hot boiling water and add the goat meat and start cooking your soup. It's up to you. I just like to season my meat first. So that is why I do it this way. But like I said, it is optional. You can go right ahead and make your soup without even seasoning it first. Okay, so see you guys in the AM. Okay guys, so when I'm doing my soup, my goat soup, I like the goat to get a little bit of color on it. So that's why I do it this way. And like I said in the earlier clip, you can just go, you can just go right ahead and just do your water and stuff but i just like i just like this way to each his own do it how you like to now do not wash out whatever container that you marinated your meat in you're going to be adding hot water to here to have this boil so don't throw it out and start to flip them over. It has a slight sear. That's what I want. hot water in here now if you have a pressure cooker you can pressure cook this now before I cover I'm going to go in with some fresh veggies fresh seasoning that was some onion. This is some seasoning pepper or pimento pepper and some green onion. And now I'm gonna go in with my pumpkin. Add a little more water to cover the meat and I'm gonna allow it to boil and cover up again Ooh -wee. let me take a piece let's 
check to see if it is soft. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's soft. Next, I have my green banana and my potato. Now, I wanted to add yam, but the Caribbean supermarket didn't have any yam. So, if you're able to find yellow yam, you can add it. Next, I'm adding my carrots. Now, growing up, my grandfather would add green plantain when he would make this soup as well. And I'm also going to be adding some droppers no droppers is dumpling now before i go ahead with adding that we're going in with the rest of our seasonings i also have some Ram good soup flavor. I'm not putting a lot. Ooh, this is looking so good. We're coming along, guys. Coming along. I see that. It's cooking up real good. See my green banana. Yep. And now we're gonna start going in with the dumpling. So the dumpling is just flour, water, and salt. That's that's just it. So I take out a piece like this. Kind of like roll it into a ball. Let's roll it. I like my dumpling to be even, so. Form a ball, and then I just roll. Then you want the ends to be to have like a peak, like these. So I give it about another five minutes and the dumplings will be all cooked. So see you guys in five. So I just put it off. My goat soup is all done, guys. See my dumpling. You guys can see. Yep. My potatoes are intact. My green banana is intact. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And hope to see you guys tuned in to my next video. Continue to have a great day and see you guys in my next video. Bye.